Oh, it's go time. This is KD Drummond of bloggingtheboys.com, and they done ticked me off today. I'm driving home, just picked up the kid from the bus stop, everything's going good. I'm laughing my A off while I'm driving because I'm listening to the local sports talk radio talk about how the Redskins have been docked $36 million from their salary cap space, and I'm laughing how they're in salary cap hell and they have no first-round draft picks for the next three years. And then they throw in this tidbit at the end, the Cowboys lost $10 million of salary cap space. Now, to this point, I was just laughing because I tuned in on the tail end of the conversation. So I race home, I jump on my computer, I check my sources, and I find out that Adam Schefter is reporting that both teams were docked because of salaries that they gave to players, contracts they gave, at the beginning of the 2010 uncapped season. Supposedly, according to ProFootballTalk.com, the teams were warned up to six times that the contracts they were given to players would cause some problem because they were so front-loaded and dumping money into the uncapped seasons, blah, 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 whatever, who cares? My point being is that, look, I'm no lawyer, but last time I checked, when the CBA expired and they said there was uncapped seasons, there failed to be a governing legislation piece of paper document that told the NFL teams how they had to act. Now, supposedly the whole delay on the reason we didn't find out the salary cap was set to 120 million point six until yesterday was because the NFL was negotiating with the NFLPA what to do about this situation. They threatened the NFLPA with lowering the cap to 116 million so that uh, and, and that would in turn cause the overall money for the players to drop 128 million in total. Obviously, the Players Association didn't want that. So what they're doing with this money, this money they're taking from Washington and Dallas, they're going to divide it up among all the teams that aren't over the cap or something of that sort, that aren't in cap penalty land. So we're talking about a situation where the Eagles and the Giants are both getting money from the Cowboys and the Redskins in order to help their squads. How does this make sense? It's so frustrating. I've been pulling my hair out all day. You see, I'm not as fresh as I normally am when I get on camera. This is the reason why I had to jump on and let some of this out. I had to vent. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out why they decided to do it this way. And so when my searching around the internet on one of SB Nation sites, I find that the Chicago Bears in 2010 gave Julius Peppers 20 million dollars in the first year of his contract. Now, I don't know the specifics of his signing bonus because, like I said, I jumped on the camera in order to bring the news to you now. But basically, what it looks like is that there were other teams that were doing this same thing. Why weren't they penalized in the same way? And if multiple teams are doing this, why are you penalizing teams anyway? I'm so frustrated. We obviously need more answers. I'm sure more will come out in the coming days. But the Cowboys only have $13 million. Now, they did say that you can divide up the money between this year's cap and next year's cap. And I'm sure the Cowboys will do some finagling in order to get some extra room because we have dead money this year. We don't have that much dead money next year. So I would assume that they would probably push this penalty off until 2013. But it still handicaps us at least a little bit and gives us something else to think about on the eve of free agency tomorrow, 4 p.m. I can't even talk about it anymore. That's it. Make sure you check me out on bloggingtheboys.com where we bring you all the news, all the stats, all the opinions, all the analysis, all Dallas Cowboys all day long. Salute.